So I don't normally use this tub, I usually just use a bucket, but I thought this would be easier for you to see what I'm doing. I filled it up with hot water, you know, I can have my hand in there, kind of like bath water, um, not, not boiling, uh, it doesn't need to be that hot. And I've identified all the carabiners and gadgets that aren't quite right, see that stick in there. And what we're going to do is just submerge them all, submerge them all underwater um, and operate the locking mechanism while underwater on each one. Um, after this, we're going to take them out, let them dry a little bit, just dab them dry, and then we're going to lubricate them. The best lubrication to use is duck oil. That's what's recommended on a lot of carabiners. Duck oil is a great lubricant for all the, the different carabiners. WD-40 isn't great. It's not really a lubricant. They don't really recommend graphite powder anymore, so duck oil is the way to go. But for cleaning them, just dump them in, dump all the the carabiners that um, you've got. If they don't need cleaning, don't bother cleaning them. That's simple as that really. Um, I've checked all the carabiners that I've got and the ones that are fine, I've left them because there's no need cleaning them if they don't need cleaning. Um, it's just a waste of your oil, your lubricant, um, waste of your energy, waste of your time. So. Unless you're doing like a Lola, your, your six monthly Lola, um, then don't bother. I'm going to put my rope runner in there as well. I did uh, quite a mucky job of it, so just a little clean on that. Good. There's lots of moving parts in there. I'm just going to let them soak. I've just got some mild washing up liquid in there. Not a lot, doesn't need loads. I'm just going to make sure they're submerged. And then you're going to get the carabiners, get them under the water and use, do the locking mechanism. You can even see already, it's trying to go back. And if you do all these steps and you still can't get it to operate, then unfortunately you need to throw away that carabiner because that carabiner would be a fail on the Lola. If you can't get it undone with just lubrication and uh, washing using an air gun, sometimes can uh, get all the little bits that are trapped in on, on, on the spring there. Um, compressed air is a good way of rejuvenating a carabiner. But most of the time, you just need to operate it a few times and the grit and grime will come out. See there, it's back to new and with some lubrication in there, it'll be great. So I'm just going to do all these now. Um, one thing to note, um, these are getting quite popular, these little pins. Now you don't want these to get covered in grit and grime um, and not operate. So I like to just submerge them, make sure all the pins are working fine. Squish them pins in again. Push the pins, make sure they're popping back out and making sure they're all nice and clean. Same on the, the rope wrench as well. It's just, it's just good practice just to check them over. More so on this because that's life support. Got lots of moving parts, little pulleys you want to keep clear of grit and grime. So I'll get back to you when uh, I've done them all. Right in the bottom there, and then spray it in this top. Close it up, make sure the lubrication is nice in there. Repeat that on all the other carabiners, and then you're ready to go.